for me to like something blue over the red that it was yeah. is wild. He drove all the way from St. Louis. Here. He hit a curb. I didn't hit a curb. Oh, no. <laughs> Black Denali. Never wanted to, done one of those before. We got 26 by 14 axe wheels back here. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Those probably didn't get scratched up on the way up here. He drove all the way from St. Louis. Here, for you. Keys. Another black Denali going in for a 9 inch. We'll always live 26s and 37s today. Don't you just love that we're doing another Denali? Another black one? That's all we do, 2,515. Somebody bring me a different color truck. God, this one's gonna look good, but still, I'd like to do a different color truck at some point in my life. Bro, take the wheel off, bro. Come on. Bro. Everybody in the comments wants to see you, John. There was 30 comments from baddies, females on there. Just for you, John. I got a wife. Every baddie in the world on there. We want to see John, John. I got a wife. We want to see John. I got a wife. Bro. That's all they were talking about in the comments. I had to delete like all of them. They just want to see you. Oh. Guys in the shop never fail to amaze me. Brian and his wife drove from St. Louis this morning, dropped off the truck, and now it is five o'clock and the truck is done sitting out in front of the shop. 2023 GMC 1500 Denali with the adaptive ride control, nine inch McGoy's kit with the adapter to keep the magnetic ride control or adaptive ride control on these trucks. 2614 Axe and a 3714 5026 Fury MT1. So you guys know that I'm a fan of the Furies when we're in the bigger sizes. Biggest difference in this truck and what we build on a regular basis at this point is gonna be the wheels on this truck. We've been doing a lot of Axe wheels and I'm normally not a fan of this style of wheel or chrome in general and jake pointed out something really really unique about this build and that the polished wheels normally have more of a dull look to them but the chrome is a lot brighter so the 2614 axes with the chrome spike lug nuts really just give this a really bright look on the wheels which matches the side steps you know the chrome trim on the mirrors and the windows and the chrome trim on the grill and the bumper it matches it a lot closer than what a polished wheel does i'm still a fan of polished wheels on a truck like this i do think in this case the chrome wheels on this truck look really really good we've got your nine inch mcgoy's kit comes with the billet accent pieces these trucks don't come with the upper control arms or the rear traction bars it is an optional add-on and you absolutely do not need them to make the truck work safe and drive every single day we do have to do trimming on these trucks when you're doing 37s and 14 wide so we trim on the bumper clean it up with some door trim and then we cut the bracket for the rear mud flap out push the fender liner back finish it up with a little bit of door trim paint it and get it out the door 26 14s 30 sevens and a nine inch mcgoy's lift in and out same day for our family from st louis it is always super special to have people come from out of town and it means nothing but the world to us that we get to day in and day out build trucks from all over the country and you guys get to take them back and on them in your hometown and really have the nicest truck in your area because i'm sorry there ain't too many people i think we've built one other truck from st louis but there's not too many trucks like this that are going to be riding around st louis so i hope you guys enjoy the truck i hope you guys have a safe drive home and continue to shit on them over there in st louis Jeff picked the worst possible day to fly to Atlanta to come pick this truck up. I'm sure most of you remember Jeff. Say hello, Jeff. Hello. I made a comment in the last video about how my face looked great in the golden hour and my skin wouldn't be this good in 30 days and it took two or three days and here we go. So, I'm just 
poking fun at myself in the video real quick. So Jeff's here all the way from Fort Miles. Fort. Fort Myers, sorry. Pick this truck up, it's pouring rain. Pouring. And it's, we're gonna go get some chicken wings and we're gonna eat. We're having a good time while he's here. But I wanna give you guys an honest first review. I don't really get like an on-camera review of how these trucks drive from a customer. Now he's never driven this truck. 12 inch, 26, 16s, 38s. Freshly lifted, just test driven and retorqued. He's never driven the truck. So we're gonna go pick up lunch and we're gonna get an honest review of what he thinks. Never done this before, that I can remember at least. So, today's the first day. I'm excited. I am too. Pouring rain too, so let's go. Pouring. We're going to get chicken wings for lunch. Pouring. Every now and then, I'll bring the customers along on the chicken run journey to get chicken wings with us. Look at this thing though, the pouring rain. Freaking beautiful. All right, look out. Oh, he's got me locked out. Oh no. There we go. All right, 12 inch. It's not that it's not that bad to get into this though. Now I will say that that camera's definitely gonna fall in a minute. Oh, 100. I got my hands ready. When I drove this truck from Fort Myers, I cruised 90 miles an hour the whole way with ease. Like I I, I was speeding easily. The diesels are 10 times better than the gas trucks. 100. percent 1,000 percent. No drive-throughs. Hmm. Watch out for curbs. Oh, 100. percent And you're gonna need a tighter belt for the ladies too. Everywhere you go now, there's gonna be ladies trying to get at you. But here we go. Honest review, most of these trucks still have the same amount of power too, which is nice. You can definitely see better. You, yes, you definitely see better once they're lifted. Truck has a, a, a much better just stance and feeling to it. Feel more planted to the ground. Obviously, you got to turn a little bit wider, but I'm, I'm sure you've had a lifted truck before. And it's it literally right there on the left. It is, it is pouring, it's been pouring. Pouring all day. All day. All day. Same exact power. Doesn't lose any power, doesn't lose any of the feel. As long as you put a good tire on there, there'll be no shake in the tires. It literally drives the same. I get people that come in and they're worried about putting a six inch lift at 12 watts on their truck. And same power, same everything. Everything. In there? Yeah, right here. Chicken run is on the corner right there. Not too far of a drive, obviously, but we'll get a little test drive on the way back to the chicken spot's literally like 200 yards from the shop, so it's not far. And it's supposed to be pristine chicken too. It is. It's A1. It is. It's not the best in the world, but for us, it's it's a regular thing. He hit a curb. I didn't hit a curb. The tire hit the curb. I think the tire got it. I think we're okay. We'll look when we get back to the shop though. As soon as I turn the camera off, what did I say? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> DM from Edon's 2000. Could I ask for you to get some more content of it talking Leonard question marks and keep spinning the of those center caps? Yeah, key. Yeah, key. I got Jeff behind. I got. I like to include you guys in the video sometimes. So Jeff's holding the camera for me. Jeff's driving back to Fort Myers today. There's a couple of things. First of all, chicken wings were fantastic. 100%. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the chicken wings. Every now and then, I'll have the right customer that come through, the right relationship. He's got enough time to hang out that we eat and we have some chicken wings. We have a good time, right? So it is real. Stuff like that really does happen. We finished up a couple of things on the truck since the last time y'all saw it. We got the wheel lights finished up. We got the rock lights finished up. And we got the cab lights finished up. We actually had to drop the headliner to do the cab lights. No, I'm not doing the headlights or the, the cab lights for you. Whoever's watching this, not happening. For him, yes. For you, maybe. It just depends. But I want to show some love to Jeff in the video. He, drove, he flew up here this morning at like 5 o'clock in the morning to pick the truck up. He's driving it home to Fort Myers. 26 by 16 KG1 Creators, 38, 15, 50, 38, 16, 50, 26 Fury MTs, and a full 12 inch Cognito. Quadro Infinite Rock Lights, 24 piece Infinite Rock Light, cab lights, mirror lights, fender lights, the whole nine yards. It is ready to go. Jeff. Thank you. From me to you, from the whole Southern Tower family, I appreciate you. The full Cognito, it rides great. It really does. And you guys got to see a little glimpse of it. If it wasn't raining as bad, you know, we'd take it around the block a little bit more, but he's got to get home. So I just want to show some love. Finish up the build so you guys can see a finished product. Let's get this break. Thank you. It's going to bother me if I don't look, but I got to look. First of all, the green and purple together is crazy, but I got to look. Nope. We did not curb the wheel when we went through the drive-thru or the parking lot over there at Chicken Run. Jeff's gonna hate me for that one, but I had to look. I had to do it. He's gonna see this in the video.
Do a little, do a little review of the truck. I try and keep you involved. Here, come I'm this good, way. good, bro. Come, come this way. Come this way. Where the, where the lighting's good. See, I got to coach you a little bit, you know? <laughs> Let old, old man come through real quick back there so we don't get hit. Look, Sean is all the way here from Miami, right? And I woke up this morning. And I, I got I to gotta call myself out about the mustache this morning, right? The mustache is a little out there. I understand that. I woke up and I felt dangerous this morning. I felt, I, let's be weird today, right? Sean coming through, he's from South Florida, right? Orlando area, right? Or a little right, bit right, south right, of there, right? right? Yep. We built this truck for Sean. It was red. I'm going to put a clip up so y'all can see it. It was red like two years ago. Pulling up the video of where we built Sean's truck the first time, September 14th of 2022. And I have the same ugly mustache i must have been on the same demon time back then and i got the same hoodie on. i don't know how ironic it is that sean came through both times from orlando miami wherever i had the same hoodie and decided that the mustache was a good idea at the same time apparently something i've been working on for a long time and i finally got around a red gmc denali with chrome 26s nine inch chrome fts kit 2614 hardcore wheels 37 inch gladiator it was a beautiful truck it was red right you know i love red so I is it's almost impossible for somebody to go home now do something different to their truck and bring it back and i like it even more than i did when it left and it's oh. not red either so he called earlier today said he was coming through town and i was like all right cool we'll film when he gets here and i saw that pull into the parking lot and i was like god bro <laughs> i gotta put this back on the channel so i got a lot of questions for you i've already i posted this on my story and you know who pj trucking is yes pj trucking hit my yes. dm and said i gotta do this to the truck i'll have to show it to you before you leave oh, yeah. and I, I told him i'm gonna film it in a minute and i'm gonna get the color of the truck so 2021 2022 body style gmc 1500 nine inch chrome fts kit right so we got the chrome fts kit in the front we got the chrome cross member in the front absolutely love it. it's got the blue accent behind it right we did this to the truck when it's when it was here originally nine inch chrome fts kit 2614 hardcore what is these ht 23s ht 23s yep. look at me i'm on top of it today 37 13 50 26 gladiators he's got the color matched oh so you had these painted afterwards yes sir the chrome uh they were what black they was uh, fts yes because if they were chrome they would have still been chrome right we built this truck a long time ago so i'm trying to remember two years ago two years ago we got the blue color match fts upper control arms with it you're gonna have to walk me through this because i don't know these at all we've What's got that? It says top tier trucks on top it. Top tier trucks, that's the that's the truck uh, club. That's the, okay, so who built the traction boards? A XL8R Motorsports out of Ocala. Ocala, so a company out of Ocala, shout yeah. out to them. Yeah. Uh, did the traction bars, color matched the traction bars with the chrome accents on it. This is beautiful, I love this. Compliments the truck really well. It's a completely different design yes. than what we're used to seeing on these trucks. You've either got the boxy FTS ones in chrome or you've got the boxy McGoy style with whatever color with the black or the billet accents. So having this, a different style on this gives it a completely different look look to the truck and I'm a huge fan I really am I really do appreciate love it. it man appreciate it now obviously right I will say that this this truck completely keeps the adaptive ride control as well yes that nine inch McGoys or nine inch FTS they come with the brackets to keep the uh, adaptive ride control there's no yes. lights on the dash or anything like that right but I'm gonna back you up again for a second here and you got to tell me for obvious reasons am I allowed to know the color of the truck it's called Bora 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 blue Bora Bora blue, Bora Bora blue. gold uh, it's triple. It's double blue with a uh, strip of gold. Is it? Is it wrap? It's a wrap. So it's a single sheet of wrap. It's, no, it's, it's liquid wrap. Liquid wrap. A liquid wrap. Bore bore blue. Double. Shout sheet. out to Pro Dips, Pro Orlando, Dips. Florida. Orlando. Shout out Pro Dips in Orlando. Hit me up on Instagram if you want to do some work. Cause I'm 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 always trying to film and collab. Bore bore blue with the gold flake. Right. That's crazy. I've already gotten DMs while, since you've been here about this color. Oh, really? I've sent this to a couple people. This, <laughs> this is, for me to like something blue over the red that it was, yeah. is wild. And it, anybody watching this knows that, so I wanted to give you your props appreciate for the color, it, this is crazy. He's got the color match fender flares, the traction bars match, the spike lug nuts match, the control arms match, the accents behind the cross member match. He's got the uh, the cab lights up top that match. He's got the mirror, the 2500 mirrors that match. This guy went crazy, absolutely crazy. The sway bar drop down brackets match. It's, it's wild. The chrome and blue together is... You feeling it's, it? Look, look, last week, 
I said that a red 12 inch FTS kit was, was already probably my favorite lift kit of the year and it's only January, right? Or whenever I filmed that. It's February and I might have found my favorite color truck of the year already. Yeah. We're going to we have to circle back later in the year, come Vegas time, which is like SEMA end of the year, November. We're going to have to circle back and revisit this because this might be my favorite color so of the year. That's that's wild. So shout out to Sean for coming through and showing us his beautiful truck today. Appreciate 26 you, is nine inch Bora Bora blue, double liquid wrapped blue with the gold flake you can see a little bit in the clips mm -hmm. that i filmed the gold flake and uh he's upgraded some other things on the truck too like he's got the big screen on the inside and everything so shout out to sean for coming all the way through i'm gonna make you use one you, hand bro. one hand here coming all the way through from miami he was coming through town like i said we had built this truck a long time ago so i appreciate you driving all the way to let us film the truck so great way to end the video off today make sure you guys are dropping comments at the end of the video because i'm uh, reading comments at the end of every video and you guys have been blowing it up with the comments and i love y'all as always let's get this bread I know you guys love the mustache, don't you? We're back again. We're reading comments that you guys are dropping on the videos. I have realized very quickly that you guys are killing the comments at the end of the videos and commenting more and more and more every time I do this. And I've got almost 70 comments on this video now in less than 24 hours and almost 7,000 views. So I appreciate you guys. You guys are absolutely killing it. I'm definitely gonna get some comments tomorrow about the mustache for sure. I may keep the mustache. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. G Shell 2520, no center caps were harmed during the making of this video. No, I did not mess up any center caps in this one. Maybe in the next video. We'll see how it goes. Soycy 89, the Denali 1500 is definitely standing on business. Right. Fat red bow tie, another fine truck by Southern Tire. We are consistently dropping bangers right now. You guys need to stay tuned. It's only gonna get better. Mogro 420, fire content. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread, baby. Mr. Silent Man 08, truck turned out. Emoji, this emoji. Appreciate you. Zay Money two times. Definitely did not ruin it. Truck is fire. I thought the 28 by 12s were gonna ruin the truck. I'm not gonna lie. Jay, if you're watching this, I thought, I thought the 28 by 12s were gonna look stupid. They did not. It looked fantastic. It really did. It looked uh, it looked phenomenal. Seven Drake car one. I drive a lifted F one fifty. I give all credit where credit is due. That's a bad ass truck. I have a full Ford video dropping at the end of this week on Sunday. So make sure you guys check out that video. It's got like seven or eight F four fifties, Raptors, all kinds of seven or eight different Ford builds in that video just for you Ford fans of the channel. Ford gang. Andy Stevens five six eight two. Do you own the shop? No, I just work here. Shout out to Devin, aka Devo from Caldwell, Idaho. Shout out to Devo. Last one I'm gonna do is Martin Martin Eli 312 talking about the title of the video, Drove from Ohio, which is trans the comment says, translation, no truck company can build a truck in Ohio, meaning none in the state of Ohio can lift a truck. Georgia is king and complete the trip with a Waffle House meal. There's definitely some iconic places you have to eat when you're in Georgia. I feel like they don't even have sweet tea in Ohio, which would be trash. Like I have to have sweet tea in my life like i eat at chick-fil-a every day i get my coffee in the morning and you get a sweet tea for lunch and dinner that's just what you do we're from the south you know what i mean georgia and florida and texas definitely kings of the lifted truck space in my opinion make sure you guys drop comments on the next video so you guys can get shouted out love you guys let's get this bread <laughs>